Okay, so here I have ASUS MIMO Pad 7 model ME176C. When you start the tablet, it will show you ASUS logo and it will circle forever. So uh, it had two variants like it could load to this menu or it could load to fast boot one, two, three, and that's it. It wasn't loading and we couldn't flash it or anything. So I will show you how you can fix it. And first you need to download from uh, description you will find links so you can uh, download the here on the screen you can see uh, official website of ASUS so you type in support your model number and it will show you the page something like that and uh, so here we pick uh, Android version before you press driver and tools so here at the bottom there is a firmware what you need to download press download and you will get it it should be around like 810 megabytes so as well you need to download this thing that's until intel android drv setup driver setup this thing called intel android fast boot recovery launcher this one we will use actually to unlock boot loader this one i just uh, unzipped this thing so i already installed it's intel android driver this one it's android fast boot recovery launcher i will move it to e drive here okay what else uh, okay so let's start here to boot up this you just hold volume down and press on power for a little bit you'll see you'll see the screen will kind of light you release power and you keep pressing volume down so you'll get you can get into this menu or you can get to fast boot that's uh, without any pictures so i connect the device here you can see it will try to install the driver it's looking into the internet i don't know why it should already have this driver but whatever so while it's looking here i will navigate to intel android so, in in intel android fast boot loader here we need to wait Okay, so let's try this thing. I will show you here some steps what we're gonna do. So we did that, we did that. So first stage will be we will use temporary team win recovery session. To do that we will use here application on behind. It's called Fastboot Tethered Recovery Launcher. You can get additional information here actually where I found this thing but and we will do this thing except for say and T4 here you should type except in capitals here you choose the recovery I will choose 4 I press no, digit 4 press enter now you choose the method to temporary recovery in my case i will choose t4 so i type t capital 4 here and press enter so here finished and okay here on the screen you can see it's doing something and it will load here this is the temporary session of team win recovery so what we're gonna do next 
when this happens it will try to install a few drivers here let's finish it meanwhile you can get here device in my case it's K013 and here you have micro SD card so what we're gonna do we will get this it's actually this archive unlocked so you have two files here ESP I, 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 image and recovery image so we, we need to copy them on SD card here it's copying here them so here you can see I renamed the firmware what I download from behind uh, you can see on the background uh, this thing so I put it here as update.zip you, you shouldn't unzip, unzip it you leave it like that you can keep the name what you will get from the page so you, you have here ESP image and recovery image as well so next step we will do on the tablet I will show you here we will not bootloader what we do here we already copied the ESP image and recovery image on, Z, on SD card so now we will do navigate to advanced here so here you see advanced there is a file manager okay so here when you scroll down you will see folder and is it SD external delete no not this one external SD you see that right so we have here ESP image and recovery image here I pressed on ESP image I will copy file I will copy here now you see it's the root of the tablet we can pick folder let's say TMP if you want and you select copy in file and I swipe to copy now I press back this is again external SD card and I do recovery image I press copy file and here it says TMP now it's showing tablet storage so I press select swipe to confirm okay I press back now I can do here up level we scroll down to temp folder and you see here ESP image and recovery image so next we go back you see that terminal command so you can see here it's this thing you can use that to backup your stock firmware what you have I will skip this part I suggest you to do that so you will have stock recovering ASP image and I will jump to this so first command will copy our ASP image file this one to the device here you see the only thing uh, I put in TMP folder so it should be this and this so this part is the path and this one is the image file here is the same so I will start with this command okay so let's do it on a tablet um, once you pressed on the terminal command it will ask you for starting folder I will keep it like that I press select now I type commands so you can use uh, and uh, this terminal is a case sensitive so what you have in capital you should type in capital and this command is kind of long it will take some time to type but We have no choice. Here we type in capital ESP dot IMG, right? So space of echo 
else. Max slash and slash whatever it is. So we typed lev slash new block my view so here we type in capital again ESP that's it I hit enter so here you will see the progress if it does well you see this record thin out copied seconds etc you see this is good actually there is no errors so now we can put the cursor here I will actually put the cursor here because you will see okay here recovery and I change name here as well to recovery so you can see here I just type in this okay so look here I press enter and look here for the process he now 16 megabytes copied to the device so first command it was flashing the unlock bootloader second was flashing team win recovery so now device will have recovery as team win and not the what was by default so next thing we do we just reboot we can reboot it from here you do reboot and you choose recovery not recovery uh, what we need yeah recovery so we reboot into recovery okay so now it's not the temporary session of team win it's actually what we have here and uh, we just need to flash the firmware what you downloaded from asus in my case i press install you do the same and you press on update zip and to flash the you just swipe it now you need some patience and it will take around five minutes you will not see the progress okay, here so the process ended with message like that ended with error 7 error installing the file external sd update zip whatever so we do here it says wipe cache and dalek we do that and we reboot the system so once you unlock bootloader the logo here will be changed so it's already changed to intel because before you had something else it was asus something this one is the same as was before so now you need patience it will take around five minutes it will circle yes around five minutes maybe less around four minutes and after that normally you will the message here will appear like Android is, Android is installing uh, updating applications so let's wait and see what's gonna happen so guys if everything was good and successful for you you will get this message on the screen Android is upgrading it's a very good sign so everything passed well once it's done you will see your revived tablet guys once it's done you will get to actually android you see so welcome back and uh, just wanted to see about device here what we have as a version 
we have Android 5 and uh, this is the firmware what we flashed I believe you will get the same from Asus website so now if you want to know how to root it you download the latest uh, Here I have a stage 3 This is what we just did And now here the for the root So you need to download the latest update supersu.zip Place it on your SD card or tablet internal memory And now you need to reboot in recovery so to reboot into recovery volume down button and press power keep them pressed release power keep pressing volume okay now you got that mean if you press volume up you get to fast boot and if you press volume down you will get to recovery so we need recovery we go to install here it shows you external SD card and this is my super su update dot zip so you keep press it and you swipe So you do reboot the system. Okay, so when you scroll here, you will see Super SU. Okay, and to make it, to check it, you just need to install root checker. And root checker will verify the status for you. So you do grant and it says on the top congratulations root access is properly installed on your device so this is it guys enjoy press on like and share with your friends if you think this video is useful thank you very much for watching